So I'm just saying it's actually recording now, and I've got it down here. But you're going right, so to explain a little bit about how magnetic core storage works. Yes. Okay. So if we look at the magnetic cores here, we can see there's lots of wires going through them. But each core is essentially a small one of those, and that's showing the magnetic field around the outside, the, around mm -hmm. from the core. So that was underneath there as the yep. core was was made. And the way that magnetic core works is that if you have a ring uh, of magnet and you have a wire going through it, then the magnetic field can be made to flip by putting a, an electric current through that wire. Like an electromagnet. But it needs yeah. a minimum amount of current to flip the magnetic field. And so what happens in the magnetic core store is that we thread a wire across one way and thread wires the other way. <laughs> And then we can put a half current, as it's called, along one wire, half current along another wire, and where those two cross is the only core that will get enough current to flip it into a different state. If you send the half currents one way, it'll be, say, a zero. If you send them the opposite way, it'll turn it into a one. Your problem now is, how do you see what's there? And that comes from observing that if the... Uh, field is swapped from one direction to another, if you've a third wire going through, a current will be induced on that third wire. So what we do is, for example, force that core into the state of zero, and if it changes, we know that it was a one. If it doesn't change, then we know it was a zero. So you've got destructive read. So as soon as you've read the data, you immediately have to write you it have to back write into, again. into the magnetic yeah. core. Thank you.